Hey guys, Sophia here with Turquoise Toffee and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2024 IFBB Pro League Coliseum Italy Pro Bikini Results. A fabulous show. This one actually took place the same weekend as Olympia. So not surprised it's a little bit buried with all the hype, but we have to give these women the attention they deserve because they all look amazing. Now, in terms of next year's Olympia, the top three from 2024 are automatically qualified, and then the winner of every open division contest within the qualification period will also qualify. So that qualification period started on September 16, and it runs all the way until next September 14th. So our winner of this show gets her ticket to 2025 Olympia. All right, so let's look at the scorecard. In first place, Jess, second, Carrie, third Julie, fourth Sarah, and fifth Patricia. So here's Patricia in fifth place. She looks beautiful. I love the fullness in her legs. That round quad sweep, her glutes look incredible, really nice curvy shape. She's got that perfect S silhouette in the back with that tiny waistline, really nice detail in her oblique. I think her shoulder looks amazing, really beautiful definition, great curve, great size. The purple is super pretty. Uh, her posing looks really nice. I love how high she keeps her hand here. It's way high, even higher than her belly button, and it just really draws your eye up. It helps to see the width in that triangular shape of the upper body, and it does a great job of keeping the the shoulder nice and full. I think she looks fabulous. Um, I do think that she could have had a tiny bit more definition coming through in this front pose. I would have loved if this groove right here was a bit sharper and that line coming down the quad, if that could have been a tiny bit clearer and easier to see, I think that would have looked great. But I do love all of the fullness and the curviness that she's been able to maintain. It looks awesome. She's got a really nice flat stomach, beautiful posing. I think she looks awesome. Probably at the end of the day, she could have a little bit more size. When I compare it to the other girls, she's a little bit more slight, not quite as big in the shoulders or the legs. Um, and I also thought she could use a little more volume in her hair, just a little bit more, maybe a bit of curl, maybe just a bit more height. Take the hair more off of her eyes and let us see her beautiful face just a little bit more. But overall, I think she did really great and a beautiful th fifth place. All right, next and fourth is Sarah. Okay, so right away you see a bit more size, a bit more muscle, and a bit more definition. A lot more clarity in that groove in the hip. I think her quads have more detail coming through. Her abs look a little bit more chiseled. The oblique is really detailed. Uh, and certainly more size. More size in the arm muscles, more size in the shoulders. It looks great. I think she's posing really well. I like this back leg, how she's got it really turned towards the front. I think that's super flattering to the muscles of this leg. However, I think she has to be careful not to look too like jacked and athletic. You still want to have some softness to the bikini division. Uh, I would love if she could get a bit more roundness into the glute here, perhaps just by turning this toe a little bit more to the side and having a bit more of a profile that might help. Uh, right now I see kind of a dip, whereas I'd love to see more of that rounded overall shape. But my gosh, She's got a really awesome curve right at the bottom of the glute where it connects to the hamstring. I love it. Super impressed by her midsection. I think she has an extremely small waistline, great definition to the abs, and just a gorgeous amount of size in her upper body. If she could, I would try to make the triangles of her top closer to the middle. So there's a lot of space here of skin and then her lats are being covered by the side of the suit. I would make it the opposite. I would try to get more of the fabric to the middle and more of the skin showing in the sides. I think that would help to really show off the lats, that wide upper body, that triangular shape, the, the ratio of the wideness coming into the narrow waistline. But I love the color. I think her hair is really pretty, especially in the back pose. It's really bright. Um, uh, nice makeup. It, it, it's different to have the hair behind the ears, but it looks really nice. It's flattering to her face. You get to see everything. Uh, so I think she did a really great job. 
All right, next and third is Julie. She's gorgeous. I love the shape of her glute. I think she's got a really nice line here separating the quad from the hamstring. Great size into the hamstrings. Beautiful definition into the quad in the back leg, that teardrop shape. She's got a nice small waistline, but I do wish there was a little bit more detail in the abs themselves. Her obliques are really clear, but you don't quite have any of those lines in the six pack. So even though her waist is super tiny, she's very lean. I'd love just a bit more detail there. Uh, I think she's got a really nice width coming into the upper body. Great size into the delts. Her back arm looks really good. I love how level her shoulders are. I love the curve that she's maintained in the back shoulder. Nice size into the arm muscles in her um in this back arm, you're seeing that great curve. This front arm to me though, I would play around with how she has her palm and the elbow. Uh, I find that the shoulder, the curve where the shoulder comes into the tricep is kind of getting lost here. It's, it's more of a straightness, whereas here you're seeing that curviness better. And maybe if the arm fell a little bit straighter, um, if the elbow weren't so turn towards the front, perhaps you'd see a bit more of that curviness into the arm itself. Uh, I think her suit is beautiful. It's a nice color. I love her hair off her face. You see her beautiful makeup. Her conditioning is lovely. I love the groove. I love the line. I think her back leg looks great. Her tan is really rich and beautiful. Uh, so overall, I think she looks fabulous. Maybe she could try also playing a bit with this hand. I would bring it up a little bit more and really try to play up the width into the upper body. Um, but overall, a really great shape. All right, now in second is Carrie. Holy, the first thing I see are those shoulders. Absolutely stunning. The curve, the size, the outlining, that really beautiful rounded shape. She's maintained it in the front and the back shoulder. So she's doing a really great job with the posing. She can get away with having her hand a little lower uh, onto her stomach. It's Her shoulders are level. They're flat. They're both really high delts coming right off her collarbone. Great curves into the arms. I love it. It looks awesome. She also has really nice detail coming through in her abs. She's very lean. Uh, nice lines in the oblique. Great groove in her hip and just an Overall, fabulous amount of size. I love the curviness and fullness in her hamstrings and a great amount of size in the glute. She looks amazing. Uh, I love this deep, dark green color in her suit. It's unique. It's not seen very often. And with the dark hair, it's just a really cool look. I think she's rocking it. It looks awesome. Uh, her tan is great. Her conditioning is fabulous. Just overall, I think she looks beautiful. Um, Great curviness, great silhouette, nice small waistline, beautiful hair, beautiful makeup. So I think she nailed it. She nailed everything. She looks awesome. And now in first place is Jess. Gorgeous. Love the pink suit. She's got those really big crystals, very eye-catching. I love that her lipstick matches. It's very coordinated. Her hair looks so sleek and smooth. Um, it's There's not a lot of volume. It's tight to her face, but you still have a nice open look at her beautiful makeup and her beautiful smile. So I love it. Great big earrings. Draw your eyes um, towards the width of her shoulders. I think she's got a really great shape and crazy good definition. Lots of detail in the abs, the oblique, the groove in her hip, the line coming down her quad, her back leg. You really notice this line here by the hamstring. It's just awesome. Uh, I think posing wise though, she could try really hard to be a little bit more level in the shoulders. It looks to me like this arm is pulling her down and it throws off that width and the hourglass shape. Um, I want to see that big triangular upper body. And then this back leg, it almost seems like she's twisting the knee towards the back corner, and it does make the quad a little bit smaller, just like visually. And I don't think she needs to do that. I think she has beautiful size in her legs. So I would try to make the knee a little bit more like directly sideways and show off the sweep of the quad. But clearly the judges didn't mind. First place, she looks beautiful, great tan, great overall presentation, and just gorgeous conditioning. 
Okay, so here's everyone side by side. I know it's not a very clear photo, but it gives you a look at everyone in comparison. I definitely noticed Carrie's shoulders, first thing, really great size, great curves. I noticed Sarah's tiny waistline, really nice definition in the abs. I noticed the leg and the glute on Julie. I think she's got really nice definition coming down. I noticed the overall S shape on Patrizia. I think she's got a great silhouette, um, but certainly not quite as much definition as some of the other girls. And then Jess, man, great size in this front quad, beautiful midsection. Love the pink, love the big smile. She just looks really fabulous. But here I do think you can see she doesn't need to hide that back leg. I like how Carrie, Sarah, you know, they're, they're, showing off this back leg a little more and the curve of the quad, whereas I feel that Jess is losing some of that height into the sweep by the way that she's posing. Now in the back pose, everybody looks awesome. I'm actually really drawn to Sarah. I think she does a great job with the shoulders um, being nice and wide, a very narrow waistline, and I love how the curve of the glute really mimics the curve of the delt. It's just a really great look. The hair is so bright and stunning right down the middle of her back. I think she's got a really fabulous hourglass overall in the back pose. Carrie has great shoulders, but I find her glutes don't have as much curve on the outside edge to match the delts. So I don't know if she could play around with the posing, perhaps turn the toes out more or less, um, but just try to get a little bit more roundness into the sides of the glutes so that the roundness in the delts and the roundness of the glutes are more complementary. But I'm loving her tie-ins. I think she's got a lot of details. You'll have to be careful. You don't want too much definition down the back of the legs. Her adductors are quite outlined, um, but she's got a really nice narrow overall frame. Julie, gorgeous size into the glutes, very full, very round, very wide. I like that she's got a lot of fullness all the way down into the bottom part of her glutes. Um, I would probably pose the arms a little bit differently. I find her elbows are quite far out to the side, and so rather than drawing my eye to the hourglass shape I'm kind of looking more out at her like this line across the back where her strap is so I would just relax those arms a little bit but beautiful overall shape Patrizia loving the definition into her tie-ins crazy outline really great detail nice small waistline her hair is beautiful down the side it'd be great if she could have a little bit more height into the shoulders a little more roundness but I think overall she's got a beautiful shape and then Jess, amazing. The glutes are so high. They're so wide and great detail. They look super stretched and full, like the skin is just bursting with muscle. She's got nice definition coming down her legs, um, really tiny waistline. The hair is really flattering where it ends. You can see the waist, you see the round shoulders, and I think overall she's just got a really great curvy shape. The delts are a really nice balance with the glutes. So a fabulous top five. Everybody looks amazing and a great win for Jess. And of course, this puts her on the list for next year's Bikini Olympia. Now I've got more recaps from the weekend coming your way. Make sure you subscribe. Give me a like if you like this video. Comment your thoughts below and come find me. I'm on Instagram at turquoise toffee.